uh, here I'm not uh, politicizing the issue of moon sighting, mm -hmm. okay? It is not about Saudi Arabia. It is not about, okay, the political situation. So let us detach detach ourselves from the uh, political influence. Yes. Okay? Inshallah. Yeah. So this is quite important, my dear brothers and sisters. Also, let us detach ourselves from, uh, from emotions. Now, uh, also, I'm not talking about the fiqh perspective of the mas'ala, the jurisprudential issue. Now, I'm not talking about it now. I'm talking about the moon sighting, uh, the process of moon sighting in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you, we have seen that there are committees, and the committees are observed by a number of people. Even when I was coming, they said that uh, media is there. Okay, I don't know whether uh, foreign media is there, but different media outlets are there. Uh, members of universities are there. Mm -hmm. Member of Wizarat al-Adil, the uh, Ministry of Justice, is there. Uh, member of Interior Ministry is also there. Uh, members of the Amara, the municipality, you can say, uh, and the governor, the governor of Riyadh, is there. Uh, so now all of them are there with this equipment. Now. Uh, and this is one location, and I am sure the, the other location, and we can see here, okay, the, the, the number of people. Uh, in the other location, there is also, I think, a similar setup. Now, brothers and sisters, just aside from, as I said, emotions, political influence, etc., do we expect that those people lie? Is impossible. Of course, yeah. Okay. Do we expect that they have seen the wrong, maybe, uh, moon? It is very, very, very unlikely. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, if we have a setup like this, and the people there said that we have sighted the moon, not all of them, but uh, maybe uh, normally a few of them. Yes. Um, from my experience, two, three, four, sometimes five, six. Now, what uh, shar'i background, yeah, or what shar'i justification is there to reject their sighting? Mm. Okay, we must accept it. We must. Yes. We must. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sahbi wa sallam was once told by one of the Arabs, mm -hmm. uh, the Bedouins, that he sighted the moon. Mm -hmm. So the Prophet ﷺ said to Bilal, go and make the announcement that what? The moon has been sighted. And uh, sorry, he said, go and tell people to start fasting tomorrow. Sure. Simple, no need for, uh, yeah, uh, no, no need for uh, complicating it. Mm -hmm. Our deen, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sallam said, Nahnu ummiyatun ummiyya. We rely on such matters, on simplicity that is suitable for lay people. This is the meaning of the hadith. La naktub wa la nahsib. So we don't rely on calculation. This is the meaning, of the, the meaning of the hadith. We have to be careful of the meaning of the hadith. So on such matters, we rely on something that is what? that is understood by lay people, yes, average people, because Islam came for everyone. And also, Islam wants to connect us to the creation of Allah Jalla wa yeah. not to, to be connected to calculation and, you know, uh, the, the, the intellect of human beings in such matters, I'm saying. Okay? So that's why when we have this testimony, we have to accept it.